Hi loveys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making one of my very first Valentine's DIYs. <laughs> and it is going to be the card flip book that I promised in a video a little while back. I wanted to give you guys some time to go pick up your own Valentine's Day cards from the Dollar Tree so that you're prepared and we can do this video together. I do this all the time in my own experiences with YouTube when I want to try new things. I go get all the supplies and then I do it step by step with the tutorial on YouTube. And I know how helpful that is, so I wanted to do the same thing for you guys. This is one of the easiest ways, in my personal opinion, to make a flip book. They are so much fun, they are super cute, <laughs> and they take no time at all. So the first thing we're going to have to do is put together the envelopes. It is called an envelope flip book. Really and truly the envelopes become your flip book and the cards become your decorative pieces. And it really doesn't matter, I don't think, when I start putting this together, I don't, I have five cards here. I don't think the number of cards that you use, the number of envelopes and cards you use is an issue. The only issue is they have to be the same size. And someone also asked me in a comment about um, the cards. Can they be a little bit of a variety? Yes, as you can see, my cards are different shapes and variety because these are just going to become the decorative pieces. But when you buy the card, you have to make sure all the cards have the same size envelope. You can't have a smaller envelope in with a bigger envelope. And when I assemble this, you're going to see why. But your cards can be a variety. They can be different shapes and such. Just make sure the envelopes that they come with are all the same size and like I said I really don't think the mat the amount of envelopes you use matter anywhere between four to six envelopes is enough and always keep in mind as well that your envelopes become your tuck spots for your goodies so the more envelopes you use the more goodies you're going to have to fill and there are pretty big spaces to fill up with goodies so that's just a side note just to keep in mind. So the first thing we're going to do to get started with this, we're going to breeze right through, is put the flip book part of the envelope flip book together. And it's so, so simple. And I have a variety of colors here. I have some red and some white, so I'm going to alternate between the two. My advice to you is to assemble the flip book with the envelopes, then glue. And the other secret is, is because you're going to be adding the cards for decorative, um, you know, decorative cuteness plus washi and stickers. And you're going to be stuffing the inside of the envelopes with your goodies. Wait to seal the, the envelope flip book to the very end. And I'll show you what I mean as we assemble. So the basis of your flip book is you're going to need two envelopes. This is so simple, guys. Wait till you see. And these are the two that I mean don't glue down. Don't do anything with these two until you are completely finished with your flip book because your flip book is going to grow. And if you glue these down, your flip book may not close. And you're going to see. This is so simple. So you're just going to take your two envelopes. You're going to face them together and you're going to slip one inside the other just like that and all you want you you don't want it to like go all the way in with each other you just kind of want that little teeny tiny gap you know and I know it's gonna move and I know that's a pain in the butt but as you put the other envelopes in and you put some glue down it, it's it's stable but my reasoning to this is because this part right here is the part that's going to seal your envelope flip book together. And I love the way that looks. That's why I'm doing red and white. And when you close this, this is going to become your flip book. It's going to look just like a card. This part is going to become your binding, if you will. But because you're going to use many flip, you're going to use, sorry, you're going to use many envelopes plus the cards, plus your washi, plus stickers, plus you're going to add some goodies in here, your flip book is going to kind of grow. And if you would seal this right now, you're like dooming yourself to your flip book is not going to hold very much. It's going to kind of come out crooked. It's probably not going to open all the way for you. So please wait to seal this little flap here till you are finished with your flip book. That's my only, that's my only advice. And 
this becomes the back of your flip book. So just keep that in mind. You want this to be your front. The part that has the little flap is your back. Okay, let's open this back up. Now we're gonna start adding the other ones. And all you're going to do is alternate the flaps. Before I stick this in, another little thing that I wanted to show you guys too, before we get busy is, let me just grab a little piece of cardstock here, is let's say you want this little piece right here to have some color. Before you assemble your flip books, you can go ahead and take some cardstock and cut it out to the length and just kind of stick it inside the card and glue it down. And then you will have that color peeking out of this little space. And then when you start putting your flip book together, when you turn the pages, this little part in here will have different colors. I use, I do that. I put washi all through in here. I do all different kinds of things. But if you wanna make it simpler on yourself and you know you want a different color on the inside of your envelope, other than the color that the envelope is, you can do that before you assemble your flip book. Just put a little piece of um, cardstock or decorative paper, or if you have hearts or whatever, on the inside of the envelope and then assemble. It's totally up to you, but to save time today, we're just going to assemble the flip book. So I'm going to add the red here into this. I'm going to assemble it and then I will add my adhesive to the other parts of my flip book. You're just going to tuck it in just like that and bring it to the corners. Okay. So now I have two pages of my flip book. And then all I'm going to do is turn my envelope the opposite way. I just tucked one in this way. So now I'm going to tuck one in the opposite way, which would be this white one. Just like that. It's going to tuck it in just like that. And then I have one left. And I'm going to tuck it in the opposite way as well. That's it. That's all this takes to make an envelope flip book. When I tell you they are simple, oh my God, are they simple. Now watch. We're not going to put any adhesive on this. We're just going to do that. And then when you open this, this will open up like a flip book book. Okay. So there will be your tuck spot for goodies. This will be the part that you decorate. You flip it again, there's your part for goodies. This is the part you decorate. The middle part will have that big piece in the middle so you can so you can tuck spots on both sides. You'll tuck some over here, you'll tuck some over here. It'll flip one more time. This is the part you'll decorate and this is the part that'll hold your goodies and that'll be the back of your flip book. And this is the part that you need to wait to seal until your flip book is completely decorated and stuffed. Please believe me when I tell you that, okay? So that's it, guys. It's that easy. I mean, it is one, two, three. It's assembled. But of course, you're going to want to put some adhesive down because you don't want your flip book. See how when you turn the pages, if it's not a little, you know, if it's not adhered, it'll, it'll just move around for you. And so it's super, 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 super simple. I just, you can use wet glue if you prefer. You know, it might be easier to stick it in. Um, I personally just wet this edge. That's all I do. I just wet this edge and I probably should have brought a little wetter to do it so that you guys can see me do it. But in real life, when I do these not on camera, I just lick them. <laughs> so, so real quick, I'm going to lick this. Okay. I know that was really weird. You probably heard me and I'm just going to stick it in. So it's like your envelope flip books come with its own adhesive. But like I said, you don't have to do that. If you have like an issue with licking your envelopes or anything like that, you don't have to do that. And if you do put a piece of um, decorative paper or cardstock, you are going to cover that so you won't be able to lick it. But you just simply just take a little bit of glue and do the same thing right on the spots where you would lick or wet your envelopes. Just put a little bit of adhesive and you just tuck it in and then look, it won't come out. It's, it's in there. So that's all you're going to do except for your last piece. I know I keep repeating that over and over again, but I don't want you guys to glue that down and you're kind of like, oh crap, why'd I do that? So I do have a little tissue here. Let me just wet the tissue because this is kind of gross. I don't want you guys thinking like, you know, I'm making out with the envelopes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll use a little bit of glue. 
I don't know why I find it so funny that I'm licking envelopes on camera. It's hilarious, but to me it's kind of funny. So I would have done this um, piece by piece, but I really wanted to show you how you put it together before I kind of glued it down. But it's really, it's super simple. Super, super, super simple. Okay, tuck it back in there. Just like so. Make sure they're lined up. And just press down. Not a big deal. Okay. Not a big deal at all. And then we're going to do... There's your end. So... You're going to want to do one right here. So for that one, okay, just like that. Make sure they're lined up. Okay, so just make sure they're lined up and they all fold easy. Yep. Okay, and there you go. There is your envelope flip book. All made for you. Easy peasy. No problem. Now I know this one will move in and out, but just please take my word for it. You're going to want to wait till the very end before you seal that because you'll be upset. Your, your, your flip book will be like all wackadoo. Take my word for it. I've learned from experience. So from here... Okay, guys, we're just going to move forward with decorating it, and it really is your personal taste from here on out. I just showed you how to make the flip book really and truly. It's so simple, guys. So simple. Here's the flip book. All you're doing is using the envelopes. So from here, you're just going to choose what card you want to use. So I know for sure that I want to use um, you've got mail on the front here and I'm going to actually cut this off because um, I don't want the card thing on the front and I will make a tag and stick it in the front of this so I will glue it down that way and I also always if I cut my cards in half if I only use the decorative part, I always keep this part, the sentiments, and I'll cut that out and I'll stick that in different places on my card. So I always keep that part because the sentiments are great. So another thing you can do here as I cut this, you know, you can um, use, I'm going to use some um, technical uh, traveler's notebook terms. <laughs> tip in you can tip this in with some washi so I didn't want to use the card but what I could do is you know take this all the way to the edge take some washi run it along here and then when you opened the book I would run washi over here and then if I knew who I was mailing this to I would write them their whole letter here and then I would just decorate this or put a belly band so I can stick a goodie or put a pocket so I can put some goodies so there again there is another way that you can do this um, envelope flip book I really like that idea and if I knew who I was mailing this to that is probably exactly what I would do and my card is perfect for that you've got mail so if I put some washi there and tipped it in and when she opened it her whole letter was here to her and then I would use this I probably knowing me would make a pocket and stick this full of stickers so that is also another way that you can use these so the ideas, like I said, are endless. But just for time's sake today, I'm just going to make this a pocket. So I'm just going to put some glue on the sides here. Just like this. Just like this. And then off camera, I will make a cutesy. Ooh, got glue on my desk. I hate when that happens because everything will stick to it now. Come on. Sorry, guys. There we go. Off camera, I will make a beautiful tag and stick it down in there. Okay, so I'm just going to add this right there. Okay, just like so. And then I probably will 
do a little editing here just so it doesn't take forever. Is that straight? No. One thing I like about the glue is so I can I can still fix it. Move that up a little bit. There we go. Now we're straight. Okay. Just to save us some time here, because I didn't do that because I got totally sidetracked. I'm going to dig for a tag real quick to show you it slipped behind there. Okay, so here is a tag, and that's what I will do. I will slip that tag right underneath behind there and put some probably some cute eyelash trim on there. You know what I'm saying? So that is that's what I'm saying, your tuck spot. You can tuck goodies down there if you want. You could put a whole sticker sticker sheet down there if you wanted to. Okay, guys, let's get busy decorating this card. I do have to speed it up and do a voiceover. Um, otherwise, this video is going to be way more than 30 minutes. So, sorry. <laughs> but what I'm first doing here is I am ripping some um, washi tape and adding it because I want to add some teal because there's a lot of red and pink going on. And then I actually drew a heart around the sentiment that went with that You Got Mail card. And I'm actually going to tip it in with washi in the front. And you're going to see me come back to this. I'm, I'm just going to like put some washi tape on the side of it just to tip it in so that it'll open like a flap, open and shut. And I'm actually going to use that for something. But you're going to see me work on that a little bit later. I'm actually going to turn the card, um, the page in the flip book. See, I'm showing you it'll open and shut and start working on the next page. And I just remembered before we get there is that I'm actually talking through all of this. That's why you can see me doing different things. But like I said, I had to speed it up and do a voiceover. What I'm going to show you here in a second is you're going to see me grab like a little teal piece of cardstock and I'm like, trying to stick it in there. What I'm showing you throughout all of this and I totally forgot is that you can take cardstock or decorative paper and stick it inside the envelopes to change the color. So if I didn't want that white, I can stick a piece of cardstock in there and change it to teal or if I had heart paper or something of that nature, I can change the colors of the insides of the envelope. Here is the little teal piece of paper. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to flip the page and I'm I'm going to tuck it inside the card to show you see how I can change the colors the inside so real quick that's what I did so for this page what I did is I cut the card in half glued it straight down I'm going to add some washi and I remembered that I got these adorable stickers from Walmart that had more little puggles or pugs I call them puggles though on them I'm showing you and I'm going to add them to the card and add some stickers and things like that and decorate the card up and make it adorable and then what I also decided to do was um, instead of utilizing the tuck spot space that the envelope provided I'm actually going to washi tape it down and decorate this one like a lot and add a mini envelope as my space for goodies. I know that sounds really weird, but when you see it at the end of this, you're going to see how cute it looks just simply so that every single flip that I do in this flip book isn't the exact same thing that, you know, the card is on one side and the envelope is utilized for the goodie spot. I just wanted to add some dimension and, you know, versatility if you will to my flip book so that's what I did so there's the little teeny envelope um, I washi taped my um, envelope down and then I added a doily and then I'm going to do the same exact thing because I love the little sentiment that was in this card it matches it just it's so adorable it's so cute I want to add it and again I'm adding a lot of teals and like purples and things like that simply because you know Valentine's Day has a lot of reds and a lot of pinks and those aren't my favorite colors, but teal is. And I think the pastel teal really works with the reds and the pinks, in my personal opinion. So and this little book right here that I got um, that has like all the little cupcakes and everything in it, I got that at the dollar Target dollar spot for a dollar, and I loved it. Loved because when I think of Valentine's Day, of course, hearts, animals, and sweets. I mean, that's Valentine's Day to me. So my flip book is basically based off of that. And I think this 200 sticker pack is adorable to bring all that in. The cherries and the cupcakes and everything like that. So that is basically what I'm doing. I am just, you know, just decorating this up. 
listen I'm using all different kinds of mediums and forms I could have um, taken some sprays and some inks and I could have inked up that envelope I could have made it a different color I could have um, uh, coffee stained it I mean there's so many avenues that you can go down so it's all in what you want to put into this and then I'm just cutting some of those stickers up and that is what I'm going to put inside that little envelope I'm gonna decorate the flap and then I remembered that I also oh, okay now I'm going back to the front I'm sorry guys see when I work I go back and forth back and forth but in a little bit you're gonna see me um, add a um, right here a little fastener and I got those from the Dollar Tree okay guys so I finished the flip book before I show you the finished flip book I need to get my flip book glued together and now you're gonna understand why you see how thick this got yeah and if you would have glued the flap down from the very beginning before you did all this and added all of your decorations and your goodies and all that stuff this would have been so tight that your flip book then at the end would not have closed right believe me i speak from experience so now that my flip book is together everything is in there i'm not adding no more it's completely done now i'm going to um glue this down so that my flip book will not fall apart on me because every time i open this and shut this now it is especially now how um full it is so just to show you when it's done you get your little flap glue down and don't you know leave your don't smash your flip book or anything like that leave it full like let it bounce how big it is and then just fold over and then glue and then your flip book will not be strained and it won't it won't be weird for you but now your binding is all done and your flip book will stay together and I definitely needed that look at that look at how thick that was and see if I would have glued that down that would have been like it just take my word for it you wouldn't have had that give <laughs> and your flip book probably would be all awkward and it, your front cover would be real stretched out It'd probably be up like that so it's always wait it's always best to wait and glue that at the very end and now that that is glued I can show you what I did so I'm pretty sure you guys got to see me do the front cover here where I took the little insert of the card that says you got mail and I just kind of tipped it in and whoever I send this to I put a high and a little heart and I'll put hi let's say I'm sending this to Suzanne I will write Suzanne in there it reveals a little puppy underneath and then this is the little tag that I made and the little tuck spot behind it I love it happy mail you're so sweet I love that okay that just gets tucked down in there and then you guys saw me work on this page with a little papa with a little pug the little puggle as I call them the little puggle sending you Valentine's Day smiles I love that I just doctored up the card a little bit made it cute here's my decorated envelope page I love how that turned out and this is the inside of this card it says hey it's my Valentine's smile I'm supposed to have little frosting smudges around the edges <laughs> so I love that and then I added an envelope and inside I have some stickers and I just used some Dollar Tree um, fasteners then we're gonna turn the page this is what you didn't see let me just move my candle so on this one I actually utilized the envelope and in here I have some tea and I have some cards and I have some um, doilies and things like that I'm not gonna pull out everything but the little envelope there is full but that's how I decorated it I love how that turned out and then on this one I utilized the whole card because I just love that little puppy so when you open the card in here of course I decorated all of this and it was about big slobbery kisses so I did all dogs I added a little doily here for a tuck spot and added a whole bunch of cute little dog and kitty stickers and then at the top I um, just used a little um, paper clip and I paper clipped a dream catcher this says dreamer and then a little punched out arrow those are all die cuts and they're just like you can see they're just paper clipped in there so that you can use them I think that turned out adorable we'll turn the page again and then in this page I feel like it's harder for you guys to see if I lay it flat 
And then on this page, I did more. I mean, I, this this is pretty much animal themed. I love my little animals. But for this one, I added, because it was about kitties and it says friends forever, I added some extra kitties and some stickers. And then this was the inside of the card, which says Valentine's Day is about love, which means it's about friends like us. I made another little card here. I stapled, I put it on with some lips. I mean, not another card, another little tag. And this one I did with strawberries. I just think it's so cute. Look at the pandas with the strawberries in between them. Ah, it's so adorable. And then this is the inside of the card and I just glued it halfway down so that would become a little tuck spot. So that just tucks right in there. I added the extra little kitty stickers because they're so darn cute. And then I added a little lip paper clip here just so that um, my little tag here is pretty secure on the little tuck spot. And then on the envelope side, I did a um, pocket. And I made it like cupcakes and strawberries and um, cherry themed. And in here I have a whole bunch of stuff. I have a big cupcake and I have little kitty, um, if I could pull one out, I have like little kitty, uh, uh, what are these called, like Project Life cards. So I have, a, I, this pocket is full of stuff. So, and there's little cupcakes down, oh, they fell kind of, they fell kind of down in here, but there's little cupcakes. This little cupcake is sticking out. So that pocket is full. So that's that page. And then we turn it one more time. This is my last card. This was the back of the envelope. So I did more. Are you shocked? I did more animals. <laughs> so this is the card. I love you. This is how I decorated this one. And I drew like little bees bumbling in everywhere. And then this is full of goodies. I put some shaker stickers in here. And I have a card for them to use in here. An ATC card that they can use made them an ATC card and then some girly stickers and then a blank um, card that says ooh la la from Target in here so that they can use it and then these stickers so the pockets are full and I mean there's a lot of goodies in here between everything and see how puffy that is so that's why it's, I'm saying it's always best to glue your envelope down at the very end and then of course this is the back and then I will write you know handmade by Missy back here and I might put some little stickers back here just so that it you know it's done but that is the back of the envelope and this is an envelope flip book so I think they're super easy I hope this video explained it well I hope you were able to um, make one right along with me. I know I didn't film the whole process of me decorating every single page because really and truly after the envelope part is assembled, it really is. It's just your, your creativity. It's not hard. You can do so much stuff with this really and truly. I went over it earlier in the video, but there's lots of places to tuck goodies and surprises and fun things. It's just really your creativity. But I love how this turned out. I think it turned out super cute. I love all the cupcakes and the sweets and the little puppies and the kitties. I just love, I love how all that. So one more last little glance. Super easy, super cute. You can do this in so many different ways, little guys, really and truly. But anyways, I really hope this video really did. I hope I helped you. I hope it was a good tutorial. I hope that you guys get to make a... Dollar Tree envelope flip book yourself and have a blast decorating it for one of your swap partners because I sure did have a lot of fun making one myself. So with that being said, my envelope flip book from the Dollar Tree is going to need a home and I'm going to bless somebody with this at random. So make sure you like this video and comment. I hope you guys have a great blessed day, and more than that, I hope you have a wonderful time creating your own Dollar Tree envelope flipbook. So easy, so much fun. Be blessed, always do what you love, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Until then, take care of you. Bye, guys.